is shadow edition. What? Like mine? Do I go classic or shadow? Maybe classic to begin with. Okay. Oh, the enemy within. Choose how to begin. What? I can't choose anyway. Hang on, what's that? Use default choice. Or use continue your story. You haven't got a story yet. Okay, then that one, I suppose. Enigma. Uh, criminal has returned. Kane Hansen's the Hansen's there. How you doing, Kane? Start. Just hang on. Uh, are you stinky? See anything? What? What's your problem? Do some talking there. Are you prepared for? It have to be this one. Batman, 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 Ben, Ben, Ben. Oh, blue. I think blue is the classic one. But I'm gonna go with purple because it's my favorite color. That's what you do. It's gonna be. Different, good, different, bad man. How have you been, Kane? Just bear with me while I'm doing all of this background work. Did you change any setting for the audio? Uh, I did, yes. So it shouldn't be too loud. Shouldn't be too loud. One fateful night, my parents gave their lives for me. Uh, all right. They became my heroes. Now, we do have uh, a bit more of a serious stream today just because of what's been going on in the world today. My father, Thomas Wayne, was a criminal. world these last few days, including Australia. And so, everything I thought I knew about I'll get on my ranty rant soapbox in a moment. Uh, you have to wait until the story ends first because they are narrative. Their attack turned friends so and enemies good. That's good threw the hear. city into chaos. I was committed to Arkham Asylum where I escaped with the help of a mental patient named John Doe. After a bloody battle, I put an end to all the catacombs beneath the city. The Penguin, Two-Face and Lady Arkham. I don't have to anymore. It's got narrative. Wish you talk over it at the moment. Right. Uh, so what do I mean by disaster? Spring well, for in example, Kane, with it comes City Hall's um, quarterly I don't know if it's the worst crime is way down we've ever seen in terms of floods, but it's the Marcus worst that I can Trump remember. For newly minted so police commissioner Australia's James been Gordon. going through some in pretty bad flooding in more than one state. Gordon credited his success to the public partnership between uh, the police and, and the Batman. And a number of people, unfortunately, he passed away. The mysterious vigilante uh, Random's there too. So hopefully he'll join the discussion today. Of the city. Um, and then of course Kane you were there last the week with the big guy and the little guy the which is still very much now, only the ongoing and so the, the uh, discussion that I want to have today is yeah are you prepared in case something happens now that doesn't mean that Look you've got to be a full-blown yeah, uh, doomsday glory. prepper or import, an expert survivalist that can start a fire with two CEO. sticks. Sort of not really talking about dealer. that. The world seems it's more about, a uh, I guess, sensible a preparation. To knowing that if you not a criminal, have to leave in a hurry, because again, you know, the little guys uh, love the game volume and says you can't hear. Does he forget who he really is? Stinky. What do you think? Mom? What? Stop Lower. talking over my narrative. Lower the game volume. You said it was too loud. How do I do that? You gotta go. That that thing. What? Well, it's. I'm still you playing. I can't. Are you sure you oh can? come on! I have to choose something. Yeah. And just... I couldn't already because you're mucking around here. Settings. All right. We'll get that sorted. Just hang on a sec. Gee, I had it down pretty low, maybe one, if that's too loud. There you go. I don't know if there's anything else that needs to be put there. Uh, just while she's doing that, and before we get the mm. discussion going, uh, if anyone hasn't joined our Twitch, please do so. We've been streaming on that a little bit more lately. Had a good stream session yesterday, didn't we, Stink? 
Bruce. Uh, and the How other thing on that, argument. that note is, if there are yeah, maybe we'll, we'll if you really like the game and you want to see us keep playing it after YouTube, we'll probably do it on Twitch. Like old Stink Pants has been doing for, what's it called? On the casino floor. Galactic Rock Gigantic or something like that. Standing by for support. All right. Just Look bear with me. With a microphone. Uh, I'm... The bad computer can intercept his communications. How do I refresh on this? He certainly I enjoys can't. the good life, doesn't he? Made a fortune running guns during the hour. What? Are talking? Don't you worry, that's narrative everywhere. I'm listening. <laughs> I don't know what I have to do, so stop annoying me. Oh, I'm annoying you. Hotel security are guarding and protecting the close. Like How do I refresh on this thing? I, I don't know what you're talking about. Can't help ya. like roulette is his Achilles heel. Ah, oh, all right. Keep talking there. I'll be right back. But then you don't need luck when you own the house. Okay. Yes. This thing is... A bit... Ooh, what's that? I can hack? Consumer model. Could be a good way to hear Mori's conversation. Okay. Hack. Al, I'm hacking into Mori's phone. Go. Encrypting your signal. Last thing we want is for him to know you're here. Gosh, We're in. You should be able to pick up audio from Maury's phone. Is everyone in <laughs> you don't do anything I ask you, do you? When there's narrative, I have to hear it. I can you just... Listen. Can you just calm down? I'm calming down. Because I'm start to not... <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand why this thing is not... How do I refresh this so you can't? You don't show me. How can I tell you? So, I've been sitting over this here thing. Wondering, what's Bruce Wayne doing? Because it's not showing. Sense. Yours is there already. I figured you went to the Every other one's place. there. Because this is the one that I need to be able to sit down with you. I'm looking for something different. New oh. Well, it's a good thing. Stupidy. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right, that's nicely done. Um, you can get rid of. That. Stop me if you've heard this one before. <laughs> My stream is really funny. Uh, love. I'll oh, lower the game. So I've read that already. Yes, thanks to Kane making it hilarious with torture and both stinky and and old Uncle Pootot. <clears throat> I think I'm still suffering from the effects of last week. All right. So where were we? I put up the the pole. Oh. Sorry, there's still more I've got to do. This is, it's much harder in a way doing the... Uh-oh. You know, is something wrong? Doing the PlayStation live stream because Bruce. I have to sort of do a mad scramble to uh, get everything in place. So again, just bear with me. I'm still well, doing a little bit of background work. I never trying do. to get stinky, but she's too busy listening to stuff. Threatens me in my own casino. Almost there. Sir, it's time to what play. does Enigma mean? You? Enigma. You, you're an Enigma. What question can you never That's answer? Yes, you're not to. my. I don't give a crap. Let's not Let's answer go. anything. <laughs> Wrong. The correct answer is Are you dead? Okay. Come on. Uh, not that one. Anyone know what is Enigma? Because Poor Dot refused. He doesn't know. <laughs> Let's get started. Oh, I know. I just choose not to tell you. Uh, I don't know if I can define it properly. You know, like an anomaly. Something that's a little bit different, uh, out of the ordinary. Of someone it's special all... like you. Weird. You mean? Um, not weird, per se. Just unique or different. You know? Okay. Um, What's going on? Right, so that's Al, done. Right away. What else do I have to do? Is that it? <laughs> I think that might be it. Alright, so I'm back. I'm in. Okay. Uh, maybe next stream you'll be doing the spicy, so this stream you get a non-spicy food pass. Do you want some spicy what? stink? Huh. <laughs> 
Mm. Can you handle the spice? Not for me, for you. Why me? Because you seem to be able to handle the spice better these days. I'm always can. What are you talking about? I'm still a champion. I always you say. Yeah. I'm still a champion, but I might relinquish the title. So, yeah, going back to the, the discussion for today. So, for example, you know, uh, let's say you're living in Canada and there's, I don't know what happens when there's a really bad snow. Like, do you end up, there must be something that causes you to have problems in the snow or if you're in America, say California, you might have to deal with earthquakes. Uh, Japan, you certainly have to do that. As I mentioned, we, we just had a bad period of flooding. And it was really sad to see that there were people that were so unprepared that they lost practically everything. They even interviewed one gentleman that all he really picked up was a box of trinkets and a photo, which I would have thought would have been the... I get that you want to save, like, special things, I guess. But by the same token, you've got to be practical about it. Um, you know, you need stuff to be able to survive. I'm start to think I'm going to change the setting because you talk over it. I'm going to make it subtitle and put the, the voice down yeah, to zero. Well, you, you can leave the voice on on one, but I'm supposed to be able to talk their stink. Yeah, that's why. Because if you keep doing this, it's... In the video, it's gonna be oh double double up. Okay, I getcha. Yes. Uh, s small, medium. Whatever the default was, probably. Um, Depends they don't it. have the voice. What is between master and music? Well, it'd be master volume. I'd say. Okay, we'll try then. that better? Yeah, there you go. Mm. You're good? Cranky pants? Yeah, it doesn't have music either, damn it! <laughs> <laughs> Why don't they separate that? Well, you can get the rid of the music if you want. I want music! Oh, you do want music. But I don't want voice over it. Oh. Well, now you don't have you any that. more music. So you might want to put your own thing. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, you didn't tell me that. Uh-huh, but I don't want to. All right, we'll get a soundtrack happening. Just bear with me. How about this one? Well, this is going to take a little while with too. Feet, I run. Um, Who am I? That'll do. Just whatever your first feet. pick is. That drone fully functional. Like the graphics on this already. It looks all right. Mm. They don't separate it. Dang it. Flocking around. Okay. Go zero! And I don't have to use this anymore. So you want to listen to one of the awesome soundtracks. Oh, this is taking a while to load up. Just bear with me. Oh, I'm going to take that out. And turn this down probably. What am I doing? He's going on. Come on. Almost there. Stinky says she wants a soundtrack. Stinky gets a soundtrack. Stinky gets what she wants. There's nothing happening. Something happened. There you go. Oh, gee, it's always matches you, Batman. All right, so that's done. That's done. Stinky, can you talk for a second? I've got to check. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> yeah, you do. I'm just doing the drone. You are a drone. 
They clearly not the main target. Okay. All right. So finally, I can start doing this discussion. Be prepared, people. You, you just uh, adopt some simple things. Oh, that was the other thing I was going to say that they had some footage of. I don't know, it was 10 or 15 people that were sitting on roofs on this one roof uh, with the flood water rising, so they were basically stuck there uh, for more than one day, is my understanding. Then they also interviewed a, a lady that had fled with her children, and they asked, did you have any food? And she said, we've got some salada biscuits and a few snacks. And that was what prompted me to talk about this today. I say, get yourself a food bucket. You go down to the local uh, home depot or whatever it's called in your country, just somewhere where you can get, um, what do they call it, like hardware? You know what I'm talking about. We have one here called Bunnings. So you go down there and you get yourself a food grade bucket that allows you to store food. This is simple stuff. It's not like doing the vacuum sealing or the dehydrating of food. That's all of the next level stuff. You don't have to go that far. And then once you've got your little bucket, oh, geez, that's rather uh... graphic. I didn't want to see that. <laughs> um, and then uh, maybe fill it with the, the superfood stuff. What? That... So they're the two buttons you've got to use. Uh, fill it with the, the superfood stuff, the, the things what, that basically... What, 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 what I'm doing, I don't know, uh, doubt X, oh, damn it! The stuff that will last for a very, very long time. So there's a number of foods that just kind of don't go off. Honey's one of them. If you get a, a glass jar of honey and you put it in your little food bucket, and then disaster strikes, then you're good to go. You'll at least have some sort of sustenance. There's other things like salt and pepper and, you know, um, rice is another one. Oats can be another one. All they need to do is be stored in a correct manner and then you won't have any problems. Oh, we've got more people here. What? Cheryl Atkinson's here. Hello, it's good to see you. Uh, maybe an extreme... No, I read that one already. How have you been, Cheryl, in these these oh. trying times? We've just been talking about whether or not uh, people are prepared in What's the event that? Oh. in the event of a disaster. So, I think uh, it's something that's important. Like people should should have at least a small amount of preparation. If you have a little backpack that you can put some stuff in, you don't have to take it really seriously. Just like a little hobby, but uh, again, you weren't here in the last stream, so we'll say the big guy and the little guy in terms of world it's events across, you know, in Europe. Hopefully you understand what I'm saying there. And it's the same there. A lot of people, you know, they, they, were, actually, they were actually a lot more... What? <laughs> They are actually a lot more prepared, I think, from what I've seen on the news anyway, that uh, there was, because there was a threat for a long time, they sort of, they'd organised themselves a little bit better. Unlike the people that were stuck in the floods in Australia that were completely caught off guard. So, you know, what are the thoughts there? And again, I want to make it clear, not, not being a super uh, doomsday prepper or expert survivalist I, I don't think you need to go to that level but just some simple things like a food bucket and a backpack that's got all of your stuff that you may need if you need to leave your house in a hurry Are there any thoughts there stinky you know i do it don't you i've gone next level stuff not really but at least a bit more organized we've got a food bucket each so <coughs> we use it for when we go camping you just um grab the stuff that's in the bucket and you're good to go <clears throat> and if you have long-term storage of uh, some sort of food you do have to think about that a bit but like jerky is good now kane knows full well that we eat the the jerky on the regular particularly with spice 
So if you have that that's and it's properly uh, sealed, that's going to last for a very long time. Maybe not, you know, forever like honey, but you'll be getting your meat, your, your veggies. Oh, what? I shoot the wrong one? <laughs> Fine. I do it again. That'll be right. Well, you have to choose the right answer, otherwise it's not there. So is this a storyline type game as well, similar to, oh, gee, I really don't like saying that. It doesn't look realistic. You know, well, I don't know. It's not. <laughs> not realistic, but yeesh. I think because you're, you're getting used to that kind of stuff now, aren't you? No. I don't think I could ever get used to saying that sort of thing. So, uh, yeah, keep the, that's a, a good good advice from Michelle. You keep the pantry stocked with canned items. Um, we do that as well. Ever since the, the uh, cough cough, we sort of spent a little bit more time uh, making sure that the pantry is well stocked. But that's the other thing. You do it when there isn't problems because you know for us anyway and i'm sure a lot of other places in the world there were periods where you would go to the supermarket and there was nothing on the shelves so you don't want to be part of that panic buying stuff um and i must admit when i saw that we did do a tiny bit of uh panic buying just trying to get whatever was left and really that was silly on my behalf because we probably didn't even need some of those items and you then, didn't do it because of that. You did it because of the points. Oh yeah, and the point. Well, at my pocket shop all has to do with getting the free stuff from the supermarket with the points you get. Which the, is not going to be free when you do that. <laughs> yeah, well that's right. But doing that, if you do that now, say when things are calm and all relaxed, you, you don't have to do a really big shop and wipe out the, the supermarket like other people do. You buy little bits at a time, long-term storage stuff. And then if something does happen, like a flood or a fire or snowstorm what or whatever it is, then you'll actually be all right. And I don't think enough people consider that based on what I've seen recently. Um, you don't want to be in a position where you're, you're stuck somewhere where you can't get any help because that has happened here this week with the floods. There's lots of people that are stuck that they just can't get any help. So if they're not able to take care of themselves, then they're going to be in real trouble. And just as a side note, don't ever drive in a flood. I can't believe how many people have passed away um, in Australia this week because of that. The, the majority of them was were because they were driving through flood waters. What I'm doing? What am I dangerous. doing? What am I doing? <laughs> yeah. So Cheryl's mentioned that toilet paper was hard to find. I do not understand that. It is not a necessary item. It's kind you, of necessary. No, you can always wash yourself without the need of toilet. In fact, when I had the recent operation, the the surgeon. You're thinking said, of like regular person, but thinking about some sick people or older people who can't go. Bed bound. Oh, yes, then in that case... Oh, babies. Yeah, then that's necessary, but... I don't know, people were stocking up. I saw images of people's garages just full of toilet paper. And I think, you know, that's not... You, you, it's more important to make sure you I don't sure know what I'm looking for. It's more important that you got food and water rather than toilet paper. That'd be lower on the priority list. You can always wash yourself. But yeah, that happened here, and it's still happening, isn't it? Even the other day, wasn't it the last time we went shop, shopping, you saw that the toilet paper had run out again? It seems to be an ongoing thing here. I don't know why. Um, but you of course... You have know, to change to use the, what do you call it? Wet wipes? No. This. Uh, we use like um, the small shower thing in the toilet. The uh, small shower nozzle that you can move with your hand, do you mean? 
Uh huh. Yeah. So that's if you have one, we should should try and get one installed. I think French or someone in the Europe. The bidet. Call, like, bidet. Something. Bidet. Yeah, but that's have you ever seen one though? That's like a toy. I've never seen it, but I heard someone can just poop in there because it's a toilet. Thought it's a toilet. <laughs> Hey, don't do that. You're not supposed to tell <laughs> stories about me. <laughs> yes, that did happen to me once. It was my first time to ever see or use a bidet. Because it looks like a toilet. That's the thing. It's not a shower nozzle or anything. It's like a second toilet that you go and sit on and press a button and it washes you. But I thought it was just a toilet. Silly me. Um... Yeah, so doing that, like my personal advice, you grab a you grab a little backpack and you grab a food bucket and just over time fill it with stuff that you think is really important. You know, not this is sort of getting more into the survivalist sort of thing, but having a lighter is always handy for in case you really need to make a fire, but I guess that's not that common for our kind of problems that we have here but you know if you're stuck in the snow or something then yeah that's important um, maybe some clothes that are pre-packed we do that as well and it's all you know we sort of use it as I said more for camping than when when we do decide to go somewhere it's very quick to just throw stuff in the car and go um, and uh, you know if you can carry things uh, make it lightweight, that's even better because again as you've seen in the world a lot of people are doing stuff on foot so they don't, they don't have an ability to to transport it with a vehicle so anyway that's where I wanted to start this stream just to, to have a quick chat about that to say look I really think people should be a bit more prepared because a lot of people are and you'll probably find that people that enjoy uh, camping or hiking or whatever, chances are they might be more prepared because that's what they do anyway. What are your thoughts on that, Von Stink? Yeah, but how much to prepare? That's well, the question. Yeah. Like how much that is good, but how much that is a bit old? <laughs> Going over the top. So, well. <laughs> I would say if you watch TV shows like uh, Doomsday Preppers, a lot of people would say that's going over the top. Uh, I'd be inclined to agree some of them certainly take it way too far, where they're hiding stuff in between the panels of doors and things like that. Um, they're almost like hoarders, some of them, and maybe not to that level. And again, with the survivalist stuff, I don't think you need to go and do naked and afraid or anything like that. You know, it's not necessary. We, we live in a world now where you don't necessarily have to have those basic skills. As long as you've got something that can counteract that's more modern. Um, like, you know, yeah, the great, great knowledge to be able to make your own fishing line and hooks and all of that stuff so that you can go fishing. But... You know, you go down to the local Target or Kmart and just buy a fishing rod, a cheap one, $10, $20. So it's not necessary to, to go to a crazy level. So I'm inventing a new word, Stinky. I haven't checked to see if it is an actual word. I'm calling it being sensibleist. Be a sensibleist. What okay. do you think? You just know I'm going to do it all for you, isn't it, Stink? Make sure you've got all of the necessary items. Mm -hmm. You've got a little backpack that I've packed for you, isn't uh -huh. it? Yeah. So are there any thoughts uh, with that? Are you saying I'm just crazy? I'm happy to debate this. Say, ah, oh, it's not necessary. You just uh, make an emergency call to 911 or triple zero as it's known here. You know, and then you'll be okay. But as I've said, particularly with the floods here, that wasn't possible. Even though people were making emergency calls, they uh, they weren't able to be helped because they were in some sort of remote area or the floods were just too big and too high, so they couldn't do that. What are your thoughts, Stinky? 
So Cheryl's saying, when we have, yeah, all right, so snowstorms. People stock up on milk and toilet paper. Oh, there you go. So I guess, well, it, to be fair with what Cheryl's saying, toilet paper would be important because I can envisage, like Red December has said before, that her pipes have frozen. So you might not be able to wash yourself. Therefore, you do need toilet paper. I didn't think of that because that doesn't happen where we live. We're not going to... It doesn't get cold enough to, to have pipes freeze and things like that where we are. Um, yes, yeah, Stinky is focused on the game. She tends to ignore me quite a bit and tell me off when I'm trying to have a conversation going with her. But that's why I appreciate you talking in the chat too because it, it keeps the conversation going. So what else would you recommend if you were to, to have just some basic items? And uh, you can always do a little bit of uh, study uh, on the, well, YouTube basically. So you can look at essential survival items maybe. And they always tend to be the same things. So, you know, some way to light a fire if needed, which again for Cheryl might be important because you're in the snow. Uh, at certain times of the year. Um, a knife, for example. Um, what else? Some, a pot, something to carry stuff in or cook in. Uh, again, like I saw this in Australia, people were, they weren't starving, but they were having to ration whatever food they had, which was very minimal for a lot of people. And you, you don't want to be in that situation. So if you can fill your, your backpack and your food bucket with, with enough stuff that you can carry, then that'll keep you going for a, a fair while. And if you're in a modern country like you know England, America, Australia, these sorts of places, eventually you're gonna get help. I don't think it's, it'd take too long. So in our case, they just had to wait for some of the flood water to subside before they could get in there. And it's not like you were gonna die in two or three days. Water is a big thing too, which um, we don't really do, do we? We've got two, I don't know how many liters they carry, maybe 10 liters each. The problem with, with water is it's heavy. You can't exactly carry a lot with you. Um, oh, get a life straw. What about that? We don't have those yet, Stinky. That's my, my Christmas present request, or birthday present request. You get two of them, one for you and one for me. Did you do that, Stink? Ah, oh, she's ignoring me again. So I think, uh, from memory, Cheryl, you actually do do a lot, a lot of camping, is that right? Or is it more hiking? So, um, I might have you confused with someone else, but yeah, I've certainly spoken to people that are much more prepared in case of a disaster than others. And even if I look, <coughs> that's the other thing, if I look amongst the people that I know personally in real life, I don't think very many of them are prepared. They, they really don't, um, if they have to leave in a hurry, they're going to do a mad scramble. And I think that's the difference. Like if you don't have much time and you've got to get out quickly, uh, just having stuff ready in advance will make a big difference. And as I said, you don't have to go crazy about it. You just research what are some long-term foods that I can store in a bucket and what are some uh, essential items that I should have on me at all times. And it wouldn't take you very long to get all of that sorted, I think, anyway. Um, I don't know why I've been yawning all day. Kane, you've been staying up too late, I reckon. Maybe that's it. Or it could be because we're boring him, Stinky. We're not keeping Kane entertained because we're not eating the chili. Do you think that's what it is? Too busy reading the game. <laughs> uh, and what else? If, you, if you're happy to talk about what's been going on uh, and just use the, the code, code names that we've got for big and little, because I personally find that quite concerning. I think um, I've asked around, again, people that I know and that ain't seem too concerned, but I think it, it can have much bigger effects that are, we're yet to see. 
uh, these things I, I have a feeling are going to happen in the future. Do you think that stick? No, you're too busy reading. So, uh, and since this stream is focused on Batman, I may look up the Batman jokes. You go for it, Kane. He's good with the jokes. Mm. Keeps us entertained with that one. Uh, yeah. So, number one, I'd hate to be in their situation. Number two, I really hope that leader just stops doing what he's doing. I don't think he will, though. He's going to keep... Until he gets what he wants, he's just going to keep doing it, which is unfortunate. But the, the one thing I would like to talk about is, you know, maybe for the little guy leader, stop putting pressure on the rest of the world the way that you are, because... I get it. He's trying desperately to, to get any sort of help he can get and trying to save lives, and that's very admirable. But you also have to realise, like, getting other major countries involved can have really bad effects. You don't want a full-blown war. You just don't want that. Do you, do you understand that? The, you know, well... They keep asking for, for, I've got a, I don't have the, 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 um, code words for like the, the organization that starts with N, if you know what I'm talking about, the organization that starts with N nah. or the other organization that's EU, if you can gather what I'm saying there, but if they start getting actively involved in all of this stuff, that's going to be much worse. Not, not just for the two countries involved, but for everyone else. Lines in the sand may be drawn and, yeah, you just don't want it. So I hope the little guy realises that because he's getting more and more aggressive. What is ambient? Um, like soft, I guess. There's one way to look at it. Ambient's like softer music, maybe. Do, do you understand what I'm saying there, Steve? No. What kind of music is that? Uh, like soft, soft stuff. Then what's the difference between that and classic? Classics, like, cla well, you know what classical music is. Yeah, but I don't know what is ambient. <laughs> <laughs> Ambient's ah. like elevator music. You know, you know, elevator, the music they play in the supermarket. Ah. They don't do hard rock in the supermarket. They won't play rap in the supermarket. It's all softer music. You, you follow me, Stinky? Come on. What happens when Batman and Robin fight a steamroller? They become flat hand and ribbon. <laughs> Did you get that? No. What happens when Batman and Robin fight with a steamroller? They become flat man and ribbon. I don't get it. <laughs> No, you know, it's not you, happening. You don't know what the steamroller is? A big vehicle, it's got the big wheel at the front that just, they use to flatten roads and things like that. Uh -huh. You know, when they do the road works, so I'll have a steamroller come over and just flatten the thing. Okay. So flat man and ribbon. You know what a ribbon looks like? You don't know what a ribbon looks like? Ribbon. Yeah, and it's like flat. Like a bow and ribbon. It's kind and of thick, but flat. Why? Why ribbon? Why flat ribbon? Batman and Robin. Every time. With ah. the jokes, I've got to explain it. Batman and Robin. Flat man and ribbon. Okay. Do you get it now? Sort of. Jeez. <laughs> Kay said she never gets any jokes. <laughs> hey, I got some jokes. <laughs> oh, that is true. Ah, oh, dear. So what else have we got? Because I'm about talked out. I only wanted to to try and encourage people to to think about being prepared, and I'm happy to have a discussion about what's going on at the moment because it's it is worrying. Like you don't want anything, you don't want anything nuclear happening. That's the point that I'm trying to make. Avoid at all costs. <coughs> and what about you, Stink? Did you hear about Batman climbing up the tree? He was trying to see if he could find Robin's nest. 
Did you know there's a Kane probably doesn't even know this, but there's an old uh, English comedy show that was called Robin's Nest. I used to watch that when I was young. It was probably uh, stopped being produced by the time I was watching it, but it was like repeats on the TV. I remember Robin's Nest. No. Nah. No, nah, you wouldn't. You wouldn't have been exposed to any of that English stuff. I don't think when you're younger. Is it? Hey, Rat Bag, you back home? <laughs> Rat Bag is back. So naughty, staying out after dark last week. Last night. Last night. Naughty, naughty Rat Bag. Burpee, burpee. What else you got, Von Stinkos? What happened to him? Which one's Batman? Is that the guy in the background? At uh, the black hair. And what's his name? Alfred. Oh, no, Alfred's the butler. John White, no, Bruce Wayne? Is it Bruce Wayne? we got I should have prepared more I thought I was gonna fully engage the the uh, live chat with that and they've all been very quiet they want us to talk about something else more light-hearted eat more chili I don't know uh, I already shoot something that I don't have time I didn't hear what they asked because of you again <laughs> It makes it more interesting. And then it's just saying, Alfred will remember that. And I'm like, oh, which one which, <laughs> which one you remember? No, you don't have to worry. Alfred will remember. That's not good. What's Alfred the, is like my family. What's the difference between the Joker and the Riddler? They are two it's different. It's different person. So they are the two Rid different. The Riddler one is called Enigma. That's why I asked you before. What does it mean? I guess it means the Riddler. Joker is the Joker. You're, you know the Joker. Well, you were watching the end of that last night, weren't you? Mm. It's good, depressing film. <laughs> Do you call it good? Um, I think I told you at the time that it was a great film to watch, but I wouldn't watch it again. Well, I probably would. But yeah, you've got to be in the mood to watch something like that. You've got to be prepared to, to see something very dark. Sort of dark. Yeah. Um, some of those films can be good. You know what I mean? Like there's some, some old films that I would watch again that are quite dark. And you got to be, yeah, in the mood for it. I got nothing else. That's it. I'm on strike. Go silent. I think he's got nothing either. What else can I talk about to ramble? All of my interests. Are Tell me about the Batman. You know. I don't know a lot. You never watch it. Yeah, I've watched a few of the movies. I never really read any superhero comics. So, yeah, but they have like a series or something when I was very young. It's kind of fun to say, to see them smack, bang, kapow! Oh, that one! With, <laughs> You're watching the original with... Uh, I didn't watch a lot of those one. I usually watch the movie one. Oh, okay. But I, I have seen some of that on TV when yeah, I was very young. One. That's awesome because he didn't have to... He did not have to um, put a fake suit on. Adam West, he was Batman back in the day. The original Batman, and it was all Westy. He just had a, a tight-fitting costume on that accentuated his rather muscular body. Didn't need to put on all of this fake plastic stuff like the modern movies do. Good old Adam West. So there you go. I must admit I've probably watched a few episodes of that. But no, like... It just looks like cartoon. <laughs> when you see it, bubbles, bang, bubbles, <laughs> smack. <laughs> like... Mm. It's a B 
best way to go, isn't it? You can get the light-hearted entertainment like that. Okay. You were more oh, about... Oh, damn it! What did I answer? <laughs> <laughs> it's a mystery and a surprise for you, Stinky. I oh, shut up now! <laughs> <laughs> No, I keep talking to me. The chat's being very quiet. I've got a cat staring out the window. Uh, Arch Nemesis staring at the screen. I'm looking at a, a chat that's being all quiet. I want mine! I might have to start... I haven't put away those chilli bottles yet. Maybe I should start drinking straight from the bottle. That'll make it more entertaining, wouldn't it? But you were more about the, the manga, right? You watch... Huh? The I watch anime too. No, comic books though. Uh, well, manga basically is Japanese comic book. Yeah, but you never read any Spider-Man or Batman or Superman? Nah, not really into it. Yeah, neither did I. I really only read three, I think. Three, three comic books. One was Garfield. One was Foot Rock Flats, which is a New Zealand one. And the last one is uh, my favourite, Asterix and Obelix. Now that's it. It was much more about reading other stuff rather than, than that. And you, you got nothing. What was some of the stuff that you read? Uh, what do you mean? The comic, comic styles, the names of the comic books. Uh... Really, not really the Western type. I usually just watch, you know, the Disney kind of princess thing like Snow White or Sleeping Beauty. But that's watching the movies, right? Yeah, but yeah. I don't don't read. So I'm asking, what did you read? I told you, manga. Yeah, but the name names of them. You're not gonna know them. They say them anyway. Like One Piece, Shaman King, this is kind of old. Um, what is it lately? I can't remember. There are some that is, you know, usually for Japanese, it's start with the manga first, and then they might develop that to animation later on, right. if it's good. And some of them actually better seen in animation than manga. Usually manga is original and you like it. I usually tend to like manga more than animation. Right. But there are a few that animation make it better. Like um, the recent one my sister just introduced to me is called Osama Ranking. Osama means king. So basically a ranking of kings. Right. If you look at the manga one, it's very... <laughs> Um, the line and the t the style of the drawing is uh, not very complicated. It doesn't looks very nice. It looks simple, but animation make it nicer and express more emotion. I guess. Yeah, you can try have a wash. I think it's very good. It's got some dark side as well but oh. the protagonist is pretty good you like the dark side don't you well the it's very dark actually if you think about it the storyline but the protagonist the let's say this the protagonist is the prince of a giant king but it's but he turned out to be super small he's a deaf and he's a dumb <laughs> But he still can see things, so it's not three things off, but you know, right. still have some vision. So, how can he become a king? That's a good question. <laughs> he doesn't have any strength at all. Even though he's a child of a giant. And how he gonna be the rank number one king or whatever the name of the, <laughs> you know, the story. So yeah, that's how it's very interesting. Mm -hmm. And there's a, so much backstory why he is like that. Mm. 
which is pretty dark. Fair point. What are you doing? I'm trying to read the ah. thing. Oh my god, and you asked me to say stuff. I can't read when I'm talking. You haven't developed that. Now much. I just stop talking to read and you just oh, <laughs> ask me what I'm doing. Can you talk then? Have enough of you. <laughs> There's Sticky the crack pants. There's the cracky pants we know. She's back. She's back in full force. That's what the Von Stink does. We're going to try and pick a game that uh, doesn't require much concentration for you. There's Red December. Hello, how are you? It's been a little bit quiet in the, the stream today, so Stinky Pants and I have become arch nemesis. And the, the topic that we started with was uh, just are you prepared in the event of a, a disaster? And I got some feedback from, from Cheryl before, but the, the younger audience didn't really say too much. And I would think again, that, you know, that's something that, that Red might want to consider. Oh, that was the other thing that I wanted to raise that, you know, there is nothing wrong with learning how to grow stuff. Whether it's, even if you live in an apartment, learn how to grow something in a pot that you can eat. Or if you're lucky enough to have actual soil, then um, just learn the really easy things. So story time. Old Stink Pan's mother just threw, what was the story? She just threw some corn kernels on the ground. Not, not, not just throw it, she actually like, you know. She did bury them. Yes, and, properly. But, but wa just water it maybe a few times before she left. And then left yep. for months. And for one month. For a month. And then she comes back, she's got old crop of corn. I struggle with that. I've tried to grow corn I don't know how many times and I can only ever get one cob. But there are other things that I know that are really easy to grow. Like you can grow potatoes from peel. Um, at the moment we're growing some sweet potato that if you see that it's starting to grow leaves on it, then just plant that. That's very easy to grow as well because we have, uh, I'm not sure, I know that the news has been reported in America because I've, I've watched some American news channels lately and they have been reporting on the Australian floods. So I think, yeah, you need to be prepared. I don't think enough people are prepared that they can escape things quickly and not do a mad scramble. Uh, and as I was saying earlier, Red, you don't have to take it really seriously, but just a few basic items is, is very helpful. I don't think enough people do it. There's a, what do you call it? Public service announcement. Could be wrong about all of that though. I'm just thinking of things to say. So if you've got anything to talk about Red, you let us know, otherwise old Uncle Poodot is just rambling at this point. Because all of the stuff, I've just been immersed in the news for the, for the past two weeks, uh, that's whenever I've got free time, it's just been looking at what's going on at the moment. And I haven't heard back from, from my mate that's in the flooded area, so I hope he's okay. He's usually pretty good at returning calls, but he didn't this time. So I hope he's all right. Yeah. And old Stinky's concentrating on reading the the uh, storyline so she can't contribute. She already told me off for trying to talk to her. Do you need to know all of that stuff? I suppose you do. Well, I didn't play this game before. You get back into the plane. Oh, you have to solve the riddles. From the riddle of her, right? And there's See, exclamation mark, so I think that's the one I have to do. And I just know that um, Batman's father is actually not a good person. Mm. But you would have got that from the movie last night. Huh? Isn't it at the very end where his father gets shot? Yeah, but and it doesn't did... say that he's a bad person. I thought it did, or oh, maybe earlier in the movie where they were saying that he wasn't a good guy and that's why he was shot. 
No. Is that okay? A, I don't know. How he's not a good guy then? Mm. How? Oh, just because he was a capitalist, money hungry, didn't care about the people he was hurting to, to make all his money. That was my understanding. And that made Bruce become the opposite, sort of. He was more of a philanthropist. Isn't that the story? I thought being a philanthropist is a good thing. No? Yeah, being a philanthropist is. Then what? if he's a philanthropist, then he's not a bad person. That's the son, not the father. The son is the philanthropist, the father wasn't. The son mean Bruce Wayne? Yes. Batman. Mm -hmm. I think that's how it worked. I don't know. Again, I'm not up with superhero lore very much. <laughs> it wasn't something that I took a great interest in when I was younger. Jeez, there's a lot of reading in this game, isn't there? <laughs> I'm looking at the price. Where in the price is high skyrocketing? 900 something dollars well these days <laughs> it's not the highest one anymore <laughs> no it can go more than that do you think it's worthwhile investing during during bad times or is it better to hang on to your money because that's been another big issue you know when you're talking about the big and the little country they're both trying to pull money out as much as they can problem is i don't have money so i don't have to think about this shit <laughs> Oh, language! You are so naughty. You're on YouTube, not Twitch. Not that you should be doing it on Twitch either. You become a lot more relaxed on that platform, don't you? Nah. And then you even turn, snap back at me and say, Ah, it's Twitch. It's not YouTube. That's what you said to me the last time. Well, now, now you're on YouTube. Stinky. I can't believe one of our most viewed videos is the one where I swore once. Yep. And you swear heaps. Nah. I hope this one gets as popular. So you what? can be, be berated for that. <laughs> so how are things with you, Red? Is everything going all right there? You must be getting into uh, what comes after winter? Spring. Is springtime headed there soon or is that still a long way away? Because we're getting into, well, we are in autumn now, aren't we? Feels like it today. Well, it has been warmer previously. We've had quite a lot of rain recently. Stinky says yes. And one other thing I'll ask if you're still there, Red, is have you been doing the, the Twitch streams lately? Because I know you were having a go at it for a while. And old stink pants is the the um, what's the game called? Something Rock Galactic. She's been enjoying that so much lately that she comes home from work and plays it. She finished the the Life is Strange one as well. Yeah, so, just chapter one, the free one. It's raining now for the first time. It's like an ice skating rink. Oh, nice. So, is that because I remember seeing a video of yours where you went to a. Well, it wasn't a nice skating rink, it was an oval from what memory. Is this? That people could skate on just because Which... it was. They, I think you told me that they, they actually sprayed water on it so that it would freeze and you could use it as a rink. So, it's not. We've never experienced that lifestyle, have we? You've never lived anywhere for any period of time where there's snow, and neither have I. It's always been like a day trip mm. to go to the snow, so I can't imagine what it's like. And she says no, Twitch. Understandable, it's... Oh, damn! I don't know. I have an eye, but cannot see. Who am I? Why of a hurricane. <laughs> oh well there you go that was lucky oh i have an eye but cannot see yeah the eye of a hurricane well i got that right you didn't tell me there was a question up there i read it to you i have an eye oh well, i wasn't listening to you um we are in the coldest state in the united states 23 days of negative weather a year wow needle oh cheryl's giving you the answers 
Needle. I have a needle. Cheryl's awesome. But how does that relate to the object in question? Oh, Cheryl's gonna, I'm keeping an eye on the chat there. She's great. Um, where was I? Oh yeah, so with the, the weather, I think both Red December and Cheryl have cold weather where they are. Is there anything that you have to do to manage that? Because for us, it's really, it gets, well, you think it's really cold here, Stink Pants, because she's from a warm Stank. country. Oh. But it's not really, like, not like snowing and minus whatever. We, what's the coldest you've experienced? Like one degree here? Has it ever gotten uh, below zero? Yeah. Here? There was one day that is like one, what, negative one or negative two? No more than that. Where were But we? it's just, yeah, but it's, this is, I think, a few years ago. And um, it's just one day or two of the whole year. Right. Yeah, so it's nothing like what uh, they experience. So I know, I mentioned in a previous stream that I watch a lot of those Alaskan shows because yeah. they do it tough there, you know what I mean? In a remote area, in the, even if they have a town, it's still pretty remote. They're very self-sufficient in that town. So I find it interesting to hear what they have to do. And it's a lot of it has to do with you know, making sure you have enough food, have, making sure you have enough firewood, all of that kind of stuff, because it's life and death. Oh, and I also saw a, a uh, YouTuber last night for the first time that um, they're actually homeless and they were giving advice for homelessness, but they've been doing it for most of their life. So they were very, they've gone through pretty much everything you can think of and they're quite expert in in living. Um, so not uh, how do I explain this? There's different levels of homelessness apparently. So you've got the ones that live uh, that sleep in like shock doors and and that, and they're like at the lower end. Then you've got people that actually have some sort of home, whether it be a tent or a makeshift little little house that they they make from scrap and this guy he said yeah if you're going to be homeless you really need a tent and he explained why like with the bugs and stuff which makes perfect sense when it comes to watching survival shows he said the reality is if you stay anywhere for any length of time you the bugs are going to get you the snakes the spiders the, it's relentless they never go away so if you can try and um, have a closed up area then that helps and then he was talking about the stuff that you need to stay warm what works and what doesn't work and he lived in an area where it snowed so he showed his uh, little camp set up and it was very well set up he, he looked i felt very sorry for him because he he couldn't get work and he was quite um well spoken and you know, took care of himself. He didn't let himself go or anything like that. So I kind of hope that he'll have a career on YouTube because he, he deserves it. And if he keeps providing stuff like that, a good advice for other people that may be in a bad situation, then I think that's great. That's a very positive thing. So Red's saying that she gets frozen. Yeah, I know that she gets frozen pipes. And the vehicle needs to get jumped five times this winter. So is that when your your um, coolant freezes as well? Coolant's not the actual coolant's not supposed to freeze, is my understanding. If you've got water in, because you can put water in your radiator if you're desperate. I've done that before, and I've had mates that have broken down that have had to put water in their radiator. But coolant, I think, is meant to have antifreeze in it to stop, stop things from uh, freezing over. But jump-starting the car, is that because the, the actual engine ends up getting too cold it won't start itself? So you never experienced any of that. Yes. Just as an aside though, yeah. look, we got a brand new engine in our car, didn't we? For free. Well, I don't know about that, but... <laughs> 
Well, yeah. you don't know about brand new engine or for free? Either of them, I mean. It was free and it is brand new. Brand new, but is it any better? Yes, because it's like having a, almost like having a brand new car. The, the only wear and tear is on the shell of the car at this point. You know, the, the chassis and all of that stuff. But the engine itself is good to go. So I can't imagine, like, imagine if you're going to, to work, uh, got to use antifreeze, water and cold temps won't work. Yeah, there you go. And the engine freezes up. Wow. That would be horrendous if you had to go to work, isn't it? If you're driving to work like you do. I mean, you can go get up, go to start your car and it doesn't work because it's too cold. Yeah, I can't imagine. But by the same token, I don't think... I asked you this before, right? If, huh? if I lived in a snow area, would you have still come and been my arch nemesis? I come to visit you. <laughs> <laughs> Old Stinky doesn't like the cold that much. But I do. It's the, the cat comes and sleeps with us when it's cold. Okay, how rich are you? Uh, not that rich. Why? Ah, bye. <laughs> <laughs> so you'll only do it if I had a chateau in France. Is that what you're telling me? What chateau in France? You know, like some wonderful mansion somewhere in the French Alps and then or the Swiss Alps or something like that then you would come and be my arch nemesis oh Swiss Alps is very beautiful I don't mind that to live there though mm. be because cold. people people there are gonna be like it's city it's more developed than here okay if you yeah, would live they... in the mountain snowy mountain here in Australia that means you are really kind of remote <laughs> <laughs> but if you live in mountain Swiss it's kind of common <laughs> you have to do it anyway <laughs> I don't know that I can do it to be honest and they have well from what I see from my friends who live there she married with the Swiss guy and live there they live in the what do you call it they have the heater in every rooms and they like to go to a spa. It's quite common for them to go for a spa. So that's a like hot the hot springs? spring kind oh, of thing. Oh wow! Okay, that is something I'd like to do in Japan with those Macau monkeys. Really, and you don't even do it here? Why? <laughs> well, because it doesn't snow here, and we don't have monkeys. Not where that spa is. Besides, you. You made us go to the hot spring spa in summer. So what was the point of that? It's hot. You want to do it in winter when it's cold. And then you, you hang around. Hang on a sec. I choose the wrong one again. <laughs> I don't even know what the hell is the question. I didn't even see you choose anything. You're doing well. Of course you don't know because I have to talk to you. <laughs> And I have to turn music down because of you talking on top of everything. Uh, sorry for that. We could, I mean, you could try doing a, if it's one of these storyline games, um, you could try not doing any commentary. I don't know how YouTube would like that, but you could try. So sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you there, Stinky. But I do enjoy talking to you. That's the, the problem, isn't it? I'm always in your face saying, talk to me. Uh, yeah, so no, with the hot springs, you go there in winter time. And yes, hanging out with the monkeys in Japan. Not that I think you can get that close to them, but I think it'd be awesome to see them. Wouldn't you like to see a monkey take a bath? That doesn't interest you. Not really. Yeah, you think it would be cute? Seeing them hang out, like you know, like uh, what do they call them? The is it the Russian bathhouse? There's some sort of bathhouse where you got all of these old men that sit there in towels just talking to each other. That's what I think those monkeys would be like. They just sit there chatting to each other while they're having a nice dip in the warm water. Nothing better than a hot bath in cold weather. Better than a salt bath, I'll say that. 
which you do or you don't do your sink. You've never had a salt bath, have you? I've had quite a few of them. She's oh. got nothing. I'm not talking to you now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm gonna choose the wrong one again. <laughs> You're doing well. Uh, oh yeah, that's right. The other thing that I was going to ask Red is, um, how come you stopped doing the, the Twitch? Because we've actually started doing it a little bit more. Um, purely just because Stink Pants has been coming home and playing games and I say just chuck it on Twitch. You might as well try and get the, the criteria up. It's so different from YouTube though. Like, no one talks to us, unless it's the VLG that happened to, to visit us on Twitch. Like, Red's done that before, and I've managed to talk to her, uh, and Kane, and Random and, as well. But usually when, when it's just random people that show up, they don't say anything. Even when you say hello, there's no response. And we got lucky yesterday. We met some, some uh, younger person that was on Twitch that taught me how to play the, the game that Stink Pants was doing. And he was very, or they I should say, I don't know if, uh, what their, their background was, but they were very kind and helpful, which was good. It was a lot of fun. It was a 10 hour, did you end up doing a 10 hour stream all up? We had to do it in shifts. Stinky did it for four hours and then I did it for four hours. And then she played some more after that because it was one of the targets that you have to meet, apparently. So yeah, but it's incredible. It's hard to get 50 followers is what you need to become an affiliate. And you find it's really, really hard to, to get that. Although the more you stream, the more likely it is to happen. I don't know what else to say. I find it very hard talking to myself. <laughs> you have nothing there, Stinky. What else can I talk about? Uh, I'm just consumed with what's been going on in the world. I, I really haven't been thinking about anything else. Probably should, because I had just... Oh, there you go. So you've had the same experience, Red, that they just don't talk during the streams, which makes it hard to, to be entertaining. But I suppose the same token is it's very relaxing for us because we don't do much commentary when we're in Twitch. Like, um, I did a fair bit yesterday just because the person that I was playing with was sending me messages via the, the PlayStation. So I mean, they weren't talking in the chat, they were actually sending messages. Make them suspicious, damn it. Mm. Messages that I could see on the screen. So that was more interactive, but at one point we had, I think, 10 people in there and they were just all silent. So I guess the good thing is, yeah, we don't have to talk either. You just sort of sit there quietly and, and play the game. But Red doesn't do that. Like she does, I guess, what you would call in real life streaming. So it's, it would be much harder to do that if you don't have an interactive audience. And the only times I've seen people do that is when it's... Um, you know, if they're a really popular streamer, then they'll have heaps of people doing the chat. But they're already established. They're already big Twitch channels. Uh, if I did ASMR, then I would have people talk. Oh, why, why is that red? Why would ASMR make a difference to have people talking? And what kind of ASMR? It's a, one of the areas that... Um, I didn't know what it was until we started our channel and I happened to come across the very first, you know, ASMR channel that I was, um, had seen and they had to explain to me what it was and I know that a lot of people believe in it, they, they say it's very relaxing and, and good for them and calming and so on but personally I don't get it, I, I don't understand how it works. Because I've tried listening, you know, people whispering in a microphone or scratching things or or whatever, and it just doesn't, for me personally, it doesn't do anything for me. Have you ever had that stinky? Oh, you're still reading. Mm. I have to choose the right one. Ah. 
Oh, you're an easy target. Ah, oh, damn it. I don't know which one. You're an easy target. So would you consider doing that? I also know that Red had a bit of an experience with one particular guy that, well, I won't mention any of that, but I did warn her that, you know, if you're a female streamer on Twitch, it's, it's a little bit more difficult unless you are prepared to show yourself off. You know, I'm trying to say that in the politest way possible. The ordinary female Twitch streamers tend to struggle a, a fair bit. And I've noticed that as well. Like, um, we did one, because Stinky's been doing, uh, playing quite a lot of games, uh, sometimes I'll get on after her. And I was doing a, a Call of Duty one and I got one comment where the guy just said, you suck. <laughs> <laughs> and that was it. And then, that yeah, was... you should say, yeah, I know. Yeah, I did. I actually I'm said sorry. to him, yes, I know that I suck. This is the first time that I've played this game online. And then they became a follower after that. So I don't know. They didn't say anything else. That was the only thing they said. But uh, I've heard that uh, it is quite notorious for behavior that's considered uh, a little bit trolly and they're not. Um, yeah, they're not as sort of pleasant. It's not always the case. I mean, as I said last night, I met a couple of really nice people. One that was chatting, the other one that was quite help, helpful in the game, but they didn't talk to me. So there are good people there, but um, I'm just forever surprised how vastly diff different both platforms are. So Red was saying, I only had men talk or in my streams. I think mostly men go to Twitch. I had gamers talk to me. Uh, <laughs> that is a funny story. I'm not sure which one, whether it's the story of Red's or the story of mine. Um, yeah, I would say it is a predominantly male audience. Um, just because there's not... If you think of the history of Twitch, because it has changed... Originally, it was just for gaming. That, that's purely what it was, live stream gaming. And then uh, uh, there's a guy called Ice Poseidon that was basically the granddaddy of doing in, in real life streaming. And that changed the game completely. And unfortunately, like if you're a, from what I've heard, so, you know, take it for what it is, it's just other YouTubers talking about it that they'll say if you're a female if you're a male game streamer but you're not very good like me then you're gonna get trash talk like i did if you're a female game streamer and you're good or bad you're still gonna get trash talked and you know people are gonna try and get you to do stuff while you're streaming and then if you're an in real life streamer uh, that's where you can be successful, like as a as a female. The, um, some of them, some of the bigger streamers are female. They usually do in real life streaming, but maybe some gaming. Um, but they've already got a massive audience that clearly like them for particular reasons. So I think women might struggle a little bit bit more on Twitch, just from what I've heard. But, you know, we struggle as well. So, you know, it's not just related to, to being male or female or otherwise. That's the other thing that I've got to... Red, I've got to keep training myself. I'm, I'm so old that, you know, I'm used to saying you guys or he or she and I don't want to get into any trouble, you know. But I'm always forgetting. It's just got to keep referring to people as person. That's the, the easiest way to... To deal with that, but um, I don't know. We're going to try and get into the affiliate program on Twitch. It seems when you look at what you have to do, it seems easier. But having said that, uh, actually getting the like get thousand subscribers on YouTube versus fifty followers on Twitch, that's a big difference. But it must be hard to get followers on Twitch because we've certainly struggled. I'd say most of our followers are from YouTube, you know, the vast majority. 
So, yeah, and then, I don't know, we might... People have asked this before to do series when it comes to the, the gaming stuff, and I think Stink Pants might do that, because after she played uh, Life is Strange, she actually did play it again and finished it, the, the first episode, and the other one, that uh, Galactic Rock game, she's been really into. She's been playing that quite a lot. Here's another funny story. Well, it might not be funny, but I was trying to do the, the Call of Duty uh, online gaming stuff. So that's where you play with other players online. And number one, I'm really bad at it. But I do have an excuse. You know, these guys, have, they've got all of the, the upgraded weapons and this and that. And we don't have those. You don't play often enough. So there should be some concession when you go in there. Like, hey, yes, I'm not very good. That's why I suck. Is I don't have all of those weapons. Um, but it was hard to... I actually got kicked out of games doing that or put on spectator mode. And I guess at that time, everyone... I've been doing it for two hours, so uh, I guess there was enough people online that recognised my name and said, we don't want to play with that guy. He's so bad. So they kept putting me in spectator mode. That's not much fun. I'll do that to you, Stinky. How are your choices going there? You doing all right? I don't know. <laughs> Especially when it said, this guy will remember that. I'm like, oh, what did I do? <laughs> Not sure I chose the right one to remember. Is that Sir Alfred? Oh, that's many already. <laughs> I might have to pick more of these storyline games, but at some point I've got to delete something stinky. Or alternately, we'll go, do you, if you wanted to go shopping today and get a couple of hard drives. What yeah. do you think? No? Nah, not today. I have to go still after this and I actually have to go now. Yeah, you got to go kind of soon, I guess. Mm. So, yeah. Mm. I will have two more days off later on, so maybe do that. Yeah, because if you want to, like, would you, do you want to keep playing this game? You seem to be into it a little bit. I bit. have to concentrate. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes you have to make decision that, you know, if it's wrong, then, or you can't figure out what's happening, then you die. So you can't progress. Oh, right. But you already died in this game. How? Heck yes, many times. Oh. <laughs> you didn't even know that. Great, happened? thank you, distraction. What happened to his ear? Have you noticed that? One of his ears has got a massive hole in it. See? Look at that, that ear. That's not normal, is it? I'm sure that's not normal. Because his other ear doesn't look like that. Uh, Hang on! Uh, See? Uh, oh, sorry. Th thank you for uh, saying that, Red. So we don't actually... Um, we send the notification for the YouTube streams on Discord, but I don't do it for Twitch. Because I don't want to annoy you guys too much, especially given that um, we've been streaming on Twitch almost every day this week just because Stinky will come home and she'll start playing a game and I say start streaming it. But um, yeah, it'd be good. We, we would love to have... Um, oh, I can't remember. Actually, I've got the thing open. Just give me a sec. So just so you're aware as well, Red, I don't, I don't know if you know this um, just in terms of the criteria, but I'll tell you now, just in case you want to take it up again. This is Joker. Oh yeah, this is Joker. So, on, here it is. So, Path to Affiliate, uh, Red. So, you need 50 followers, stream for 8 hours, 
stream on seven different days and have an average of three viewers. And I don't know why it keeps saying, like we had 10 viewers in the stream yesterday and it still just says 2.3, so I don't know what that means. But um, yeah, I know it does help with people actually coming in and chatting to us. But anyway, uh, it looks like Stinky will be departing quite soon. She's gotten up from her seat, so we'll, we'll have a shorter stream today, I guess. But I appreciate you coming again, Cheryl and uh, Kane and Random Red. They're pretty much the only ones that were in the, the live chat today. Oh, there's Ethion Jones. Hello, it's good to see you too. Uh, I hope things are, are well with where you are. We're actually going to end the stream uh, soon, so that's all right if you're just saying a quick hello. In fact, she looks like she's stopping it. I don't know what she's doing. What are you doing? Mm, try to get this chart. Oh, let me just pull one out and pop it in. Um, we hope uh, Rosemary's good as well, Ethion. I don't want to ask too many questions in the live stream because I know it's a, a little bit personal, but yeah, I hope things are okay with you too and, and uh, things are going well in your country. Uh, I suspect you might be coming out uh -oh. of winter as well. you got to go back into... I can't put it in. You have to help me with that. I have to go now. Oh, well, are you done or...? Yeah, I guess so. Okay. Um, Alright, so Stinky's about to head off anyway, so we'll end up stopping this. Bye guys, have to go. Don't be afraid to, to send me a message privately if you want, uh, Atheon. And Red, I hope you have a fantastic week as well. Um, so I don't know if you know each other, but you're both very uh, old Cont uh, what do you call it? Friends on YouTube, I guess we'd say. Ethion was one of the first people that we met. Um, yeah, one of the first people we met on YouTube. And Red's been very loyal for a long, long time as well. So we uh, love the fact that when we get to see you guys, because you're the ones that we remember. And it's like, yeah, the, the older... <laughs> The older crowd that have been around for a while, they're the ones that we uh, see. And Cheryl, Cheryl's another one, so she has been there the whole time. So, sorry this one's sort of cut shorter uh, since you joined Ethion, but basically Stink Pants does a, a um, silk class. So she has to head off at, at quarter to 12 or something like that. So uh, we appreciate you guys coming. I'll let that play for a little bit longer as soon as it's just doing the storyline. I don't know what I'm supposed to do there. Just like Stinky, I'm not paying attention. Um, of course I will. But hang on, no, I probably shouldn't have done that with the Joker, but anyway. <laughs> All right, so have a fantastic week, guys. We will see you in the next one, hopefully. And I'll get to the, the comments at some point. I've been uh, trying to catch up with that. All right, see ya.